what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back just had some crazy stuff going on but we are here to watch some more Westworld we're gonna finish up these two episodes hopefully you guys can see them on Friday and Saturday then of course once this season we take a week's break and then we come back give me a chance to, to get some stuff out on early access for you guys so season two will start early on early access for you guys so if you're still watching the series and you feel like you want to help support the channel it's a good way to support the channel you get early access with it it's only two dollars a month um so every now and then i'm going to talk about it i don't talk about it all the time because i don't want to make it seem like you know i'm trying to extract money from your pocket or anything like that but you know um when you sign up for early reactions when you sign up for anything any kind of membership with me whether it be the patreon whether it be um on youtube here it does help the channel go you know it goes the money goes a long way um it does help the channel go don't think that you know you know the money doesn't go and most of the time that money is invested back into the channel anyways so you know what i mean but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in westworld i am curious to see how they go into end this season and of course i will have a rating and a review after episode 10 for you guys so make sure you tune in to watch that but in any case i am ready to see how they're going to wrap up this season because things are <sighs> ford is a madman <laughs> okay lovable madman you know what i'm saying he's a lovable madman a lot of people were saying after my last reaction especially after episode 7 a lot of people were saying that, um, you know, they saw it coming. They were the signs were there that Bernard is a is a host, and I'm like, where were these clues? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I mean, there are so many things that were there to mislead us. If that's how, I don't know. Maybe you guys are seeing things more than you know, seeing things more than than we do, or maybe this was a um you know sometimes i you know i watch things and you know i always get these um people sometimes that come and they're like oh we you know we saw that coming i was like there was no clue for at least for me you know what i'm saying i you know and sometimes people will even accuse you of watching the show before you're pretending like you didn't know and i'm like bro what do you want me to do like i didn't see the clues <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i didn't see any clue that bernard was a host like none whatsoever even maybe if i go back and watch it again i will pick up on some of the clues but for the most part i didn't i didn't see any so that's just me it, it just went right over my head but that's maybe just my fault <laughs> but in any case it was a very great moment there in episode seven revealing that and then they, they they kill old girl i mean you know mave is a you know what i'm saying like she's she's trying to escape but she's cornered you know what i'm saying um i just don't understand you know she thought she was gonna be able to manipulate let's see let's see how she um and everything that's connecting to you know um and harris's character i still can't rem i can never remember his name in in the show um but going forward it seems like bernard is the one that took out um elaine which is i figured as much since he was revealed to be the host but he can't remember if he, if he was there or not and it, you know what i'm saying or maybe he does remember because in that instance when he was being questioned yeah, I, it looked like he remembered that he was the one that took it. Because we all were wondering who took out Elaine. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they were in two separate places. So how the hell did Bernard get out there? That That's another thing too. But in any case, guys, let's jump into the episode. I will see you guys for the review. what's going on guys welcome back welcome back 
incredible 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 like i'm wrapping up a lot of season ones a lot of show just finished black sales now westworld season one man let me tell y'all something man y'all are the goats around here y'all who have made suggestions for this channel i know westworld was one of those series that was was um suggested like way back i think like the first time i took suggestions like back in like after i finished game of thrones um i think westworld was one of those it came in at the same time as black mirror which is um i can always go back to black mirror you know what i'm saying a lot of people have said why why didn't you finish it black mirror is not a series it's an episodic thing it's not a series it's an it everything is happening on a episode by episode basis just kind of playing on your emotions and you know your thought process and to see that so i can go back to black mirror at any time um but it came in around that time and i was supposed to do black um i was supposed to do westworld a long time ago and i didn't do it i was holding off because other things came into the picture that was that that i was more interested in um like sons of anarchy and and, and, and other shows so finally we are here and we are done with season one and i have to stop to give them a round of applause it's not a lot of shows that get a round of applause from me but you know what i'm saying like this one deserve a round of applause for a season one i think this rivals any show that i've watched on the channel season one is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me I can't even leave, leave room for improvement because everything came full circle. The cinematics, the, the, the you know, the videography, the sound design, um, everything about this series in season one was done perfectly. No plot holes were left untouched for me to be like, why was this done? Or why was this done? Like they just wrapped everything up in a bow in episode 10 and an hour and a half well deserved well deserved they needed to do that and they did that and that's the best thing about um you know shows like this tv shows that are aired on hbo stars you know what i'm saying um showtime you know that's the best thing about it because the studio can 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 you know okay certain things for them to do a whole hour and a half with no commercials in between like you know what i'm saying like you only get that from premium channels out there you know what i'm saying and i'm so glad that they take advantage of that i love to watch their shows tv shows that happen on those channels because you get a lot more you get a lot more bang for your buck let's just say that you know what i'm saying um sh and don't get me wrong shows like sons of anarchy stuff like that is giving you 40 minutes an episode vikings 40 minutes an episode you know what i'm saying they're still great you know what i'm saying every now and then they'll give you a full one hour you know it could be a season pre premiere maybe uh you know what i'm saying like a, a a season finale um but for the most part they won't go too far and venture into um, you know, like two hours or, you know, or hour and a half and give you movies that it might do two episodes in one night, but it's still going to pack a bunch of commercials in there. Um, I love shows. I, lo I love TV shows. And I love channels that do that. Um, but let's talk about it, man. We're going to talk about these two last episodes that I'm going to give the season a rating overall. So let's talk about it, man. Mind blown. Finding out that this entire time the the um the william and you know billy whatever that dude's name is um logan right william and logan and dolores that whole storyline was a flashback this entire time if you had said to me in the comment section this doesn't feel like a flashback to you i would have been like what are you talking about what are you talking about? This is just another storyline that we're following. People came to the park and stuff like that and stuff happened. Because I was one... And then they, they made it so that Teddy didn't intercross with them at all. Because this whole time he's been looking for Dolores too. 
and they made it so that they never intercrossed with them because this whole time he was with William and we, what can I say about the writing in the show absolute brilliance the team of writers shout out to them they did they did an absolutely excellent job on this series man I can't I can't even begin to tell you guys how much I enjoyed watching season one of this series like it's blown my mind to the point where a character that we thought that was going to be the main character throughout he's died in season one freaking Ford you know what I'm saying we found out Bernard is a host in episode seven and they just keep dropping bombs for these last like four episodes of the series like bombs after bombs after bombs as things just roll downhill very fast you know what i'm saying and the pacing picked up but it was good you know what i'm saying like wow wow and wow may have gone back we don't know what her fate is going to be how she's gonna get back to the park is beyond me i don't know we're gonna get to see that in season two of course um dolores um and bernard now now that they've taken out literally they're here they're gonna take out the whole board i don't know who's gonna survive i don't know if william is going to survive this he may survive this you know what i'm saying because he didn't he, they didn't show him dying we know that ford is dead for sure i know that most of them dudes for those are all board people you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a massacre he's going out just like bernard i don't know if they're gonna rebuild him you know what I'm saying? Because that would be crazy too. Bruh, so many reveals. Finding out that Bernard is actually a, a recreation of Arnold. It, it, it's, it's nutty. It's nutty. They went above and beyond with the writing in this, man. And to keep us off guard, I love when shows do this. When, when certain shows are just really cut and dry, you know what I'm saying? And there's no twist, it can become very boring. So you have to have certain o OMG moments. If you have the OMG moments and you have the character building and you have the story um, going, right? You have the trifecta. You have the triple tref, the, <laughs> the triple tref, the, the triple tre the trip, the triple threat, <laughs> the triple threat of what you need in a tv show to make it be popular and they did that in season one you know what i'm saying um and don't get me wrong you don't have to have those but you need at least two of them you need at least two of those for your show to pop and every writer knows that like your your story got to be leading in a certain way i don't know if westworld was, was based on books i don't know it might have been i don't know i've never heard of westworld for for books it might have been who knows a lot of this stuff that i react to on the channel has been based on some sort of you know real life kind of counterpart like the person like if for sons of anarchy to do that actually create the show is acting in the show or he's directing the show so it's just crazy it's like his story and he's directing it that's awesome so um everything is is like it come to a head and they did a, a brilliant way of portraying it and it's like it's it's like ford said you know it's like everything has come full circle now but because he never was a bad guy and this entire time i was thinking oh he killed arnold no he didn't you know what i'm saying basically both of them now that has made this absolute of a beast of creation right has come full circle to make sacrifices for you know what i'm saying for their godly mind if you want to if you want to call it that is it's like they they're like you know our time is is up and for them to achieve the consciousness and get to you know what i'm saying the center of the maze as they call it is for them to realize that hey they have consciousness and for them to make a choice because it just seems and it's not even like it's an inhumane thing if Ford had decided it's like you needed time this whole time is like I was giving you guys time to learn about us but it's just 
you guys just did wasn't getting it you wasn't getting it so now that i realize that you guys got it now i can go live in not live in peace but die and understand what my friend was trying to do you know what i'm saying because he's like if we couldn't change the world then they maybe they can change the world i guess listen i don't agree with the idea ideology but in the context of the show i can roll with it you know what i'm saying i would never want robots where you're not sure and completely unpredictable robots to be roaming the world thinking they're gonna um show real emotion and stuff like that even if you program them to do that i don't believe in i believe in very the least amount of artificial intelligence there is i don't think we should ever be trying to create anything of the sort because as you can see you know what i'm saying if they decide to turn on us it's it's a whole different story because they would be stronger because of their exoskeleton inside they would be stronger they would be able to endure a lot more than a human would you are creating you're literally creating a monster you know what i'm saying so i don't agree with the ideology um that that should happen in our real world and our real life but in the context of the show i can roll with it you know what i'm saying to see if they're gonna be better than humans that would be dope you get what i'm saying because in in so many ways as they were saying in the show in so many ways the worlds are such it's it's so similar you get what i'm saying it's just it's just um the worlds are very similar but it's scripted one is scripted one is not scripted but at the same time the behavior of who's involved in it is the same so what arnold figured out is that you know what i'm saying to give them real consciousness they have to hurt it's the one thing that humans experience that it's like you can't program it and if you can program it you know what i'm saying you literally would have created a human and one of the things is, is that in everything that i've ever watched that has this kind of ideology of i've watched um thing there uh agents of shield when they created ava you know what i'm saying uh you know her having her own consciousness turned around to be a, a terrible a terrible creation you know what i'm saying at first you will feel like she would never betray anyone but then she just went off the hinge you know and that's the curse of building something like that because it's very unpredictable especially when you give them you know what i'm saying as a matter of fact you know when you talk about us and our brain and we only use like we only you lose use like about 30 percent of our entire brain power so it's like if we should get that higher learning and unlock that other 70 percent we would all be geniuses you know what i'm saying and you you know what i mean and it's kind of on that kind of level where their cognitive under you know their understanding just grows and that's why I, want, I really want i'm really interested in Maeve's character the most at the end of the season to be honest because what is she going to do is she going to go against this whole thing that is going on because she's the only one that's left right now that is enhanced the rest of them is still kind of limited you get what i'm saying so i don't know how this is going to turn out but in any case guys let it was an awesome season I already told you guys 10 out of 10 rewatchability definitely i might have to go back and watch a couple of episodes to see if i can pick up on any clues that you know towards the end this is definitely something that i would re-watch again with a family member or even my kids to be honest you know what i mean because it's just that good so rewatchability is there videography is there um sound design was absolutely excellent 10 out of 10 for everything story building character development everything they had it down pat in this series and i rejoice round of applause man round of applause westworld season one was absolute brilliance in my eyes i don't know how you guys felt about it 
um but let me know in the comment section anyways guys leave a like on it on the video leave a comment tell your boy let me know how you feel about these last two episodes i appreciate y'all i will catch you guys later man peace